All right, guys, day 18. Let's talk about Scalpel, which is a movie I watched on Amazon Prime. And it's about a plastic surgeon named Philip who loses his, uh, he can't find his daughter. And then he turns this other stripper into his daughter via plastic surgery. <laughs> this is a really weird plot to summarize. Um, I didn't know anything about this movie. I just knew it was called Scalpel. And I'm like, oh, that's a cool title. That sounds fun to watch. And I didn't expect this movie to be what it was. I expected this movie to be like a silly, like slasher-ish kind of movie. But uh, but going into it, that's what I expected just by the title. But watching the movie itself, this is a really strange and odd movie, and and not in a way where it's it's a it's a disturbing movie, but it's a disturbing movie in a way where it's also kind of goofy. Like it's from nineteen seventy one, I think. It's pretty old. And it's it's interesting because you watch this movie, and I, and you're look and you're looking at it like, like what is going on? Like I don't understand. Like I understand the plot. I understand what they're doing in the movie, but I don't understand where the movie's gonna go. And the movie, I'll give the movie this: the movie does a good job of not giving you an an idea of where this is going because, like I said, the story is about Philip, this plastic plastic surgeon who gets a stripper that they, that he meets and turns via plastic surgery in uh her into his missing daughter and then the daughter comes home and then weird weird stuff happens where like you can tell philip's unhinged because he's uh in bad relationships he's lost a lot of people and then there becomes the ensuing fight between the real heather and the fa and the stripper heather <laughs> that looks like heather could be a plastic surgery it's very interesting, and I, and I do think that this movie is, for being a movie that's a thriller like this, I thought it was interesting and well done. Like, I did enjoy it. I thought that they did a good job of the acting. I thought the, mo the uh, movie was interesting. I like how unique it is, like, for 1971. Like, I don't really think I've seen a movie like this, a thriller like this. I think that it's well done and just works pretty well. I think that it's it's a really solid movie, and I like, too, just how interesting it is, even though I already said that. But I'll tell you this. The movie at the end of the movie, without spoiling it, the last couple minutes of the movie I liked, but it turns into, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the last few minutes of this are odd. Like, this is a... And I'm saying this from a movie that's already strange and weird, but watching the end the last like couple minutes of this movie i sat there like wow i did not expect the movie to go this way this is really weird and really funny it ends on a funny weird note where you're like what okay that's how you end the movie but i'm not saying that in a bad way because i did i did like that ending but i was like what <laughs> that is very odd and very out there in an interesting way but but overall you know looking at it i think that it's a unique idea. The acting's good. I thought that it's it's a very strange movie, but that's to its benefit. Where it's a it's an interesting, strange movie, and I enjoyed it. I thought that it was fun and enjoyable. Uh, pretty much all I could say about it. So that is my quick review on Scalpel from I believe 1971, and that is it for today. Uh, stay tuned for the next day for 31 days, and see you guys tomorrow.